Hello and welcome to this week's Fletchy Friday and welcome to Manchester. It is raining as always. Um, so in this week's Fletchy Friday, we are going to show you that anybody, well almost anybody, can um, install a socket on a ProfiNet cable. Isn't that right James? Yep, so uh, if you've got the right tools, I guess anything is possible, okay? So <clears throat> everything we're going to show you today is of course fully documented and we'll share the links uh, to where you can find out the procedure on our support site. But just to show you how easy it is to make off a ProfiNet cable, uh, we've got uh, we've got Lee here as our uh, our anybody, and uh, this here is our ProfiNet cable, Siemens Industrial ProfiNet cable. So it's got the shielding inside there uh, to ensure signal quality, and of course there's rules that should be followed when bringing that into your panel. But in terms of getting the the, the plug on the end, all you need is the ProfiNet Fast Connect strip and tool. So I'll give this to you, sir. Thank you. And uh, I have given him a little bit of instruction beforehand, so. See if I can remember. We'll see how this goes. So, okay, the first thing to know, what we're actually looking at doing is lining up the green point with this length here. Yeah. This will give you the perfect length. Fantastic. And then what we're going to do is just follow the diagram here. And then... Okay. This should be stripping all the various elements of the cable to the exact lengths required. Look at that. Beautiful. It is a nice cut that actually, James, isn't it? Because yep. it's got the right amount of tube yep. in as well. The other interesting thing to note, this is a lot easier than uh, doing a home industrial, a uh, home ethernet port. <laughs> so we're looking at orange, blue, yellow, white. Yep. So uh, this cable, of course, is only going to give us 100 meg, but that's all we need for a ProfiNet installation. And uh, Lee has of course put in a plug on the end of the ProfiNet cable here. But if you are interested, if you were using like our Ethernet switches or our, uh, our IO drops, our HSSP IO drops, then you can get header modules with the same fast connect uh, connection on them as well. So you can literally now be pushing that cable straight into here to clamp down for your, uh, for your IO or your Ethernet switches rather than put in a uh, connector on the end of them, which is a pretty cool uh, feature to be able to be doing it as well. How are we getting on there? Clamp it down, that terminates it. That's it, and then clipping it together, grips the cable. And there you go, a fully terminated off cable. Of course, these are our industrial ethernet connectors as well, which uh, marry up nicely with our uh, industrial ethernet switches here. So you can see that we get a lovely uh, connection between the switch and the uh, connector there. So that is going absolutely nowhere uh, if it was inside uh, your machine. James, thank you for demonstrating that anybody can wire the socket to a profit net cable. Have a good weekend. Bye now.